terraforming device left behind by beams from another time. No way, you're wrong. It wasn't even really a disaster movie. It doesn't qualify. Okay, then, what do you have for number one? Best disaster line ever. Hands down, 2012, the neutrinos have mutated. <laughs> Excuse me, but the line is the neutrinos are mutating. Are you kidding me? It looks like the neutrinos coming from the sun have mutated. Steve's right. Of course I am. Mostly. You still have much to learn, young Padawan. When was Cookie Monster in Star Wars? Huh, that's really funny. Hey, by the way, I can't believe you didn't use a Walter Brown quote, especially today, on his birthday. That's kind of disgraceful. Oh, great. Your cousin's here. What? Oh, fantastic. Second cousin, by marriage. He's probably just gonna ask for money again. Mm-hmm, and he's getting pretty cozy with Selena. Selena. What time is it? I, I don't know, military or civilian? Military! Oh, 1310. Hey, so am I. So am I. Who are you? Hey! Hi, honey. I was sitting there waiting for half an hour. I know, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Do you even know what day it is today? Uh, yeah, I know what day it is. It's, uh, it's Walter Brown's birthday. Uh -huh. And your birthday, right? It's your birthday. Right. It's Walter Brown, your girlfriend. No, Walter Brown's not my girlfriend. That's how I remember Walter's birth And your birthday is because you have the same birthday. I remember it was your birthday, Selena. Max, your titles are at the adult store down the street. You're funny. Oh, I got you a gift. Great. I got you a gift. Great. Yeah. Better not be a DVD. Steve, that's not it. <laughs> Stop messing around. It's so funny. I, you know what? I had it. Um, I don't know where I put it. Oh. I have it. Hey, you know what, uh, Selena? Actually, I was on my way out for lunch. Maybe uh, I could treat you. Oh, thank you, Max. Yeah. That is so nice of you to ask. But I gotta go to work. Yeah, she's just gonna work. Max, work. Something that you have never experienced. Selena! Selena, come on. I'm sorry. Honey. What? Hey, can we talk about this? I'm due at the radio station in 10 minutes, and quite honestly, I don't really feel like talking to you right now. Why, because I was late for lunch? Because you're late for life. Owen, you have a graduate degree, but instead of being an engineer, you spend every waking second at this damn video store obsessing about stupid disaster hey, movies. Hey, hey, there's nothing stupid about these movies. These, this is a genre. A, you don't get to be a... Listen, I've poured everything I've got into this place. I am a small business owner. Right? I am thinking about the future, okay? Our future. Okay, good. Right now, I'm not really sure if we have one. Movie Shack, home of the disaster. Is that you, Stephen? Hi, Mom. Just calling to say hi. You know, see how that job search is going. I have a job. A real job, Stephen. Always been so good with your computers. It's a shame to waste your potential down at that place working for your friend. Feel that? Oh, please don't change the subject. No. No, no, no. Come on, you don't feel that?
ook zo. I can't get through either. So much for the police. It happened. One actually happened. What are you talking about? It's time. Uh, what are those? Apocalypse bags, obviously. <laughs> I told you we've been busy here. Have you got one for zombies? <laughs> no. Of course we do. It's above robot invasion. <laughs> Come on, Steve, help me here. Every Walter Brown film has DVD extras and featured add-ons, lists and lists. It's groundbreaking stuff, very practical. Uh, the, the items that you need to survive a Walter Brown disaster. So what were those, meteors or...? No, they can't be meteors. There's no, there's no impact craters. Which would also rule out rogue space debris. Right. Alien attack? No, no, can't be alien attacks. Think Skyline and War of the Worlds. There's no, there's no spaceships, no mass abductions. And apparently no radiation. I'm getting nothing. Wait a minute. How's your watch? Patchy. Like all the power, right? My watch is fine. Because it's analog? Yes. Nice! Ding. Right? <laughs> Only the electricals in the dropout zone were affected. Yeah, and I'm getting really strange electromagnetic readings. Well, I would imagine you would, fella. Well, come on, like you know what the hell you're talking about. Solar flares like in knowing. No. No, it can't be solar flares. Solar flares don't ball up like that unless, unless it was one massive solar flare oh. like in, come on. Oh, it's final hours. Yes, right? I mean, huh? Stupid movies? <laughs> All righty then. Dude from Heroes is awesome in this. Uh, what do you think of this? Oh, oh, well, um, well, the electrical disturbances are definitely consistent with the disruption in Earth's magnetosphere. Yeah, but if the magnetosphere collapsed, wouldn't we see a lot more radiation? Okay, lunatics, we're done here. Watching movies does not make you an expert on anything. Okay, you know what we do know? Our first priority is survival. We need to do is just figure out what we're dealing what with. What we need is to find someone who actually knows what they're hey. talking about. Hey, just shut up for a Look, second. You need to kiss my Got a wall filled guys. with movies out there with answers to every one of life's questions. Shh. Shh. Oh, turn it up. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Hi. Oops. Selena, you okay? Yeah. Uh, Leonard. Come here for a second. What's wrong with me? Just come here, damn it. Yeah, just a little closer, Leonard, okay? Well, what is it? Wow. Okay. Um What's going What's going on? You know what? Back up. Can you do me a favor? Touch the touch that pole on the wall. Yeah, just touch it. There you go. Okay. Oh. What the hell? It, it is just acting as a grounding wire. It, it, it's it, it's dis, uh, the energy of from the that thing out there is just reacting to your body's own electrostatic energy. That's all it is. It's very natural. Your own impulses. Okay, so it's blast you. No big deal. Uh, stay there. Rubber bands? No, these are these are electrostatic wrist straps. Okay, it, it should work for this, right? Yeah, I would think. Okay. Well, with, with these, you can't get a static charge like Leonard. Right. Don't touch him. Just throw it to him. <laughs> there you go. Hey, good catch, buddy. Put that on, OK? Here's what we need to do. We all need to just stay here until we realize what we're dealing with. The hell we are. Max. Max, where are you going? Max, where are you going? I'm going to find someone with some actual authority. Oh. And anybody who has any sense is coming with me. Selena? Hmm. Fine. Wait! I don't need your sci fi crap. Did you bet your life on that?
Everybody back to the bridge. What, you okay? What about my mom? Right. Foil will protect the battery from any sudden energy bursts. Yeah. And the wiring, too. For the worlds. Oh. Blows me away that you can turn the van into a TV dinner in seconds, but you can't stop the transmission fluid from leaking or the burning egg smell from the air conditioning. I'm a sci fi technician, not a mechanic. And besides, I just made our very own post apocalyptic personnel carrier. That's pretty awesome. Good work, Jim Jim. All right, let's roll. Hey, where are you going? To work, Owen. To work? No, you're not. Selena, what are you? I'm the best radio tech they have. If, if people in town are going to get emergency broadcasts, I've got to keep the station on the air. That place is like an electromagnetic minefield right now. It's not safe. It's safe. You said it yourself. If the radio breaks, you're the only one who knows how to fix it. Stephen, I'll be right back. Please. Please. OK, I'll, I'll think about it. Yeah. Spidal, let's roll. Please, come on. Yeah. All right, Steve. Get in the back and take inventory. Come right? on, Selena. I'll yes. give you a hand. Well, you stay here. I got work to do. But you said. Dude, we forgot the solar meltdown van. Yeah, this isn't my first disaster, buddy. Let's get moving. Are you kidding me? Look at this. I mean, what? What is that? Like the 20th car we've seen like that? I'm telling you, working vehicles are going to get a premium if these things keep falling from the sky. Yeah, well, don't worry. The van will be OK. The van's going to That's what I'm talking about. You want to be the one guy in town with the one thing that everybody needs? Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez. No. You mean like in the book of Eli? Yes. Didn't they try to kill Eli? Yes. Uh. so worried. The power's out. My shell doesn't work. Mom, you're bleeding. Th 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 that's nothing. But when those things started dropping, they hey, were... Uh, Daddy, it's a great story. Pack a bag. We gotta go. What, where are we going? Um, movie shack. Yeah, movie shack. Okay, everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Actually, nice. Come. Get out of the car! Now! Get out of the car! Oh, boy. That's not good. All right. Get in there. Watch your head. All right, Steve. We gotta, we gotta go. Steve, let's go, buddy. Best advice for a cosmic disaster comes from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Don't panic. That. You can always bring a towel.
Another wave is coming. Let's go. You said you did something to the van already to protect it. I had 10 minutes of tinfoil all for any of it's not the battle oh, Steve. Guys? Are you kidding me? Come on! Guys? They're coming! <laughs> Get somewhere safe, somewhere actually safe, not another damn video store. Selena's alive. Period. We're gonna find her. You don't want to come? She can leave. Look, man, you gotta let it go, okay? She didn't make it. You don't know that. We need to get somewhere safe, somewhere like a military base or a bomb shelter or something. No way the military's prepared for something like this. Well, then who is? Walter, Walter Brown. Brown. Oh, crying. Um, Walter Brown, the most complete disaster aficionado ever known. He has more knowledge of catastrophic events than every emergency management agency put together. Yeah, he's a writer. He's a science fiction writer. Which he became after leaving the Department of Defense. Where is this Walter person? A hospital. Don't! 
Walter, calm down. You're agitating the others. Don't tell me to calm down. The entire planet is at risk. I can stop this. Just let me call the Defense Department. The general knows me. Your flashlight's not gonna help, George! I'm zapping you with my ray gun! Phone lines are still down. Nobody has a damn clue what's going on out there. Hey, calm yourself. Just double your rounds, okay, and under no circumstances allow a patient to leave the room. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Nobody's showing up for their next shift. Well, this is why we have emergency drills. Now, who's on fence patrol? Uh, I guess I am. Okay. Oh. Um, great, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll break a lunatic out of an asylum so he can come and tell us the sky is falling. Brilliant! No, there's more than that. When we find Selena, we're gonna need a place to hold up. Walter built a bunker. The ultimate survival base. Right, right. And, and, and he published the plans, but no one's ever found it. Safest place on Earth. And you know where it is. Yeah, it's got to be near his house, which is um, in Springfield, so around Springfield uh, area. Come on. Yeah! All right! Go! Go! Let's go! You coming, Pumpkin? Huh? You sure? I don't mind leaving you here. Find shelter. Okay. okay, maybe a working car. Yeah. Okay. There. That shack. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. She's not in there! She's not in there! Yeah! You happy about this? Yes! It means she's alive, dumbass. Hey, I saw a guy get vaporized by those things. No, no, no it's all about she's proximity. Uh, she wasn't close enough to the car to get vaporized, uh, and the car wasn't vaporized. Uh, and the radio wasn't uh, vaporized, uh, which means she was even farther away than. Start the engine. Okay. All right. All right. This is okay. Not good. Oh, it's not good. It won't start. Uh, all right, Steve. Get the van started. We're all gonna die. No. No, we're not. I mean, some of us maybe. But... What? What are you doing? Help your mom, Steve. Mom. Hi, the mom. tiger. Mom. Turn it slower. Owen, wait up. Owen. Hey, guys. I'll take that van. Hey, hey, hey. Ah. Ah. Ah, really? Ah. One, two, three. Ah. Okay, take the keys out. Put yeah. back in. Don't get up, buddy. Please don't get up. 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 Everybody, come on, let's go! Let's go! Ah! 
right now. No way in hell. Try it now. Move out, drop the gun. Give me the sword. Help! Oh, help! Please. Come on, I hope this works. Ah! Can anyone hear me? Wait till satellites start falling out of the sky. All of this, all of this is nothing compared to what's on its way. Okay, but Walter, I need you to calm down. You're agitating the other patients. I'm, ag I'm agitating the others? Look, look at what's going on right out there, out the window. It is paramount that I talk to Dan Ramis at the Department of Defense immediately. And what would you say? Electromagnetic bubbles that are formed on the outer edge of our solar system's protective shield heliosphere have been hit by a massive interstellar wave. The heliosphere is collapsing inward, and worse, the wave is right behind it. Please, one one phone call. Here's the thing, Walter. You know who you sound like? Who? Everyone else in here. Son of a bitch! You are going to rot in this place, Walter. He's really hurt. Okay. We're not taking him. Max, what are you doing? Put the gun away. It's okay. Get in the van, Selena. We're not abandoning that man. He's dead weight. We've already got one senior citizen. Look, we're all just a little freaked out here, so put the gun down. <laughs> 
Which part of I'll shoot your mom in the face do you not understand? Come on, Max. We got room for him. Come on, we gotta hurry. No. Uh, Bill! Come on. Out. I won't. Is that? I am taking this man. What? Come on. Get out. Hello? 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 Get, get me General Dan Ramis. Speak up. I can't hear you. Hello? This is Walter Brown. Tell the general I can stop this. Just get me out of here. Say something, you gotta talk about this. When I was six, my mom rented me my first sci-fi video. Dune. It started my love for the genre. It also gave me a massive phobia of worms. I know this is gonna sound stupid. All I got is long live the fighters. Right? Come on. Come on. Long live the fighters. Say it with me, come on. Long live the fighters. There you go. Security mental institution calls for the direct approach. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Can I borrow one of your insane patients? Yeah, it sounds reasonable. That's about it. Why are you two looking at me like that? No. No way. Absolutely not. What are you talking about? You said the same thing about dressing up like Princess Leia that one night. We had a good time. Well, well, what do you think you're doing, Miss? I think, um, 
I think I'm lost. <laughs> uh, you can't be back here, miss. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't. I can't. I said. I said. I said you uh, can't be. Oh, please. I'm. I'm here to see my uncle. <laughs> I'm sorry. State of emergency. We're locked down. <gasps> locked down. <laughs> well, um, can you just make an exception? <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that. It's against the rules. Well, don't you want to ever break the rules? Do this. Well, I, uh, you must once. I could. Sorry, dude. Could... Oh. I always wanted to use one of these things. Let's go. Screw ups at a time like this. Oh, my God, Smythe! Wait, wait! I can help you. I have a bunker. Really? Where is it? You know how this works. First things first. Funny business. If you so much as even think about trying to double cross me.
think you're pretty clever with your little pickpocket act, don't you? You know what, Cochran? Go to hell. Sir Brown, hi. I'm, uh, my name is Owen, and I am, without question, um, your biggest fan. Well, you know what, Owen? My friends call me Doc. Doc Brown? Doc Brown, that is so awesome! Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so oh. sorry. I'm not. No, no. The, the Doc you do know what's going on out there, don't you? Yeah, it's the end of the world if we don't stop it. You are a sick man, Walter. Hey! Be careful who you're talking to, okay? This is a brilliant man. A brilliant man! Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome very much. Where'd you come from? Done got called in. Thank you very much. Hold it right there! Respect my authority or I will tase you, bro! Okay. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Now, let him go. <laughs> Drop it. Perfect timing. Uh, Dr. Brown, this is another one of your fans. I'm a very big fan of hello, sir. Just, just, just call me Doc. Dog Brown! Dog Brown! Ah! Okay, we don't have a lot of time. The interstellar wave's on its way. We need to get to my bunker as soon as possible. I've memorized those plans. If you don't mind me saying, you're interstellar, right? Yes, Walter sir. Brown. Hi. Okay, you know what? We gotta go. We gotta go! I'm sorry. Get it? Yeah. Wait, wait, stop, stop! Okay, on, on three. One. Two, three. models, shield plants, everything. We just need to get it to my contact at the military. Your contact? Yeah, I used to work for the government doing disaster planning, you know, saving lives. We prep for every kind of disaster, including heliosphere the collapse, collapse, the interstellar wave. The wave. The whole thing. Everything. But then I found out exactly whose lives they were trying to save. The rich and the powerful get bunkers, Deep inside the earth, the rest of us get left out to fry. Just like 2012. I knew it! Damn it! Sons of bitches. And that's when I went public. Next thing I know, the DOD has me locked away, and now <laughs> we're staring at the end of the world. Let's hold hands. I think we should all hold hands. No? Something a little more formidable. Oh, this? Nothing. Up that hill? The bunker. 
The bunker! Brown jewel. What we need to create is a shield to protect the planet. But the thing that we absolutely need to remember is... What? What? <laughs> He's dead, man. He's dead. He's dead. Dead. Like your mom's dead. Like Leonard's dead. Like the rest of every single person on this planet is dead. Well, we're not going to let that happen. I love you, man. I really do. But that was Walter Brown. Pretty much the only person who knows just what the hell is going on. And so we turn to you, starfighters. Oh, please. And your navigators. Don't. For of all the billions of creatures in the Star League, yeah. only you few are found to possess the gift. <sighs> Fine, let's go check out what's in the bunker, OK? Is the bunker? <sighs> A hatch. Brilliant. Keypad entry. <sighs> Fanboys like you must know the combination, right? Uh, right? Opening box office for Quantum Gate. You actually know that number? Okay, out of the way. Oh, hold on, I want to try a couple oh. more. Uh, Stevie, remember how they handled the keypad lock and sneakers? Oh, I remember the Marty Bishop character was awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, sir. simulation of mass destruction. Right there. Oh. Solar flares, drought, heliosphere. That doesn't look good. Oh. know what to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Walter wouldn't know what to do if he was alive. But just think, what would Walter do in, in one of his movies? <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you ask him? Oh, that's right. We can't. He mentioned a shield. Oh, great. Walter mentioned a shield, Steve. Tell us, how do we how do we create a shield to protect the Earth? I mean, it's not like we have a random asteroid coming at us that we can just nuke. Yeah, or, or, or we need to restart the Earth's core by nuking it. Or, or saving our dying sun by nuking it. And why don't we forget about Walter Brown for once? What would Owen Stokes do to solve this? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Thunderworld. 
Thunderwell. Thunderwell? Thunderwell! Thunderwell the Greek Shield! Yes! Thunderwell. Oh, okay, okay, what's a Thunderwell? Is that a, a movie? No, no! Incredibly, it's not a movie. Thunder... My master's thesis. In the 40s, the, the government was tinkering with the idea of an anti-orbital weapon. Essentially, it's a mine shaft that goes deep into the Earth. You put a, a nuclear blast at the bottom, and it blows debris into space. It's like a really, 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 really big shotgun barrel. It could alter an interstellar wave. They could counter each other, wouldn't they? I would hope so. So what you're suggesting is that we nuke ourselves? Yeah, a little bit. It would make a great Walter Brown movie. Oh, imagine the TV series. Oh, huh? Old TV series. Yeah, That's cable, the, though. Yeah. You can't go. There's no way. What would the tagline be? Oh, <laughs> there's a nuke kid in town. <laughs> yeah, interrupt this I like that. brainstorm here. But has anybody actually tried this before? I mean, could it actually work? Uh, well, open pit mines. Yes. Open pit mines! That's a great idea. I think this could actually work. Guys, guys, um, Walter's contact is in the military. Yes, it is. Yes. Um, I'm gonna bet they're not gonna want to nuke America. Hmm. But it's okay. Look what I found. Remote pit mine in Siberia. Oh, so it's okay to nuke the Russians. What? No, no, it's remote. It's very, very, very remote, and it's not in use anymore. Huh. Okay, for this to work, it, 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 the targeting has to be absolutely precise for this warhead to detonate. Yeah, and the timing. Just like blowing up the Death Star in Star Wars. What did you just say? That, that just might be the hottest thing I think I've ever heard you say. What? Everybody's seen that movie. OK. You say that again. Death Star. You say it again. Okay, guys. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? Uh, this is a not simulation of an interstellar wave. That's the real interstellar wave? Yes. Right now? Yes. Uh, Calculating. What is that? That's the countdown to when the wave hits Earth. Less than three hours. second to find the best target. Okay, I can calculate coordinates, but how do we find Walter's contact? General T.S. Ramis. Wow, do you think they're still on speaking terms? I don't think it really matters. We're going to force them to listen. We don't have a choice. So, Walter said that his contact was close to here. If that's true, do you think we can contact him by radio? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. With so much interference in the atmosphere, I don't even know if his signal's going to get out of here. Well, can we boost it, maybe? Well, we could certainly try, but it's going to take time, and there's no guarantee. I love it. Let's do that. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What if the timing changes? In the movies, the timing always changes. Ah, Steve's right. One of us has to stay here. All right. It's got to be me. What? No. No, look, I cannot lose you again. You know what? It's the safest place to be. And you and I both know that I'm the only one that can fix that radio. Selena. There's not enough time for this. Selena. You know I'm right. Sorry about your birthday. I'm gonna make it up to you, I promise. I know you will. See you later, Selena. Steven, those apocalypse bags, they were uh, a pretty good idea. Thanks. <laughs> Owen, I love you. I know.
infamous GPS. Don't worry, my grandfather gave me that map. It's fine. What? No. Hold on. Oh, great. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are the odds it's hunting season? Long shot. Mow them over. Right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Hi! What? What is that? I don't know if that... I don't... You know what the worst part of this is? Have they made us change the tire? No! Man! No! It's game over, man! Steve? Did... I dedicated my life to movies, even though people told me over and over I was wasting my time. Hey, guess what? Guess what? I was right. I was right. We have the answer to save everyone. And it doesn't matter because we don't have transportation. Ah! Look at me. Squatter, look at me. Huh? Steve, no transportation? I see in your eyes the same fear that would take the heart of me. The day may come where the courage of men fails, but it is not this day. I have but one rule. Everyone fights. No one quits. Failure? She's not an option. Never give up. Never surrender. Dude, what are you doing? I was just joining in. It was, oh. it was the rousing, like, yeah. Well, I know what it was. The team is it is also home. a monologue. Rita, Mono. that's the point where it's like, rah, rah, you know, am I still? OK. All right, well, if you got to do it, let me start, and then you can come in. Good. If you have to, yeah, OK. Awesome. But I'll start, and then you can. All right. OK, ready? Never give up. Never surrender! That was a weird accent at all. I like to keep Why did I have to get the girl's bike? I missed the fan. How do you feel about an airplane? Oh, t don't even tease me about that. My friend, there is a fine line between coincidence and fate. There it is! The best line from The Mummy Returns! Come on, Evie! <laughs> Hope this works. the pilot. What? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, God. It's too bad. Check him for keys. Uh. Does he have the keys? I think so. Grab those keys, dude. Oh, God, this is the worst. Come on, you can do it. I oh, got him. Got him? <laughs> You okay? Yeah, yeah. I just threw up in my mouth a little bit there. Oh. Okay. We got ourselves a plane. All right. Now we just need to find the starter. Right. Starter, 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 starter. There's a million. Oh, here it is. Here it oh, is. oh. We're in business. Nothing. Okay. The battery's going to be a problem. Get out. What? 
Get out. Whoa. Get to the front of the plane. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh. Come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Come on. You don't need a battery to, uh, to steal a prop plane. All you got to do is disconnect the ground from the magnetos and spin the prop. What's the prop? The prop. Right in front of your face. That's the prop. The propeller. Yeah, give it a spin. OK, wait, right now? Yeah, give it a grand old spin. Spin it. All right, I'm. Spin it, bitch. Maybe, uh, do you want to do a count or something like that? Spin it. Spin it. OK. <laughs> You shouldn't have left me to die. I have to radio Owen and Steve. We can save everybody. We can stop this from happening. Nah. You know, I think I'm just going to save myself. Mayday, Mayday. This is an urgent message. For General Ramis of the United States Military, Bravo Bravo 9248 Charlie Epsilon. We have vital information that can save the Earth. Over. Do it again, do it again. They might not be able to respond, you know, but they, they might still be able to hear us. This is Steve Palmer and Owen Stokes. Does anybody read me? Over. <laughs> You wish you had lunch with me now, huh? Actually, we only need one, and we already have the coordinates. Owen, is that right? Yes. You work in a video store? Uh, he works in the video store. I own the video store. Yes, I'm a small business owner. Would you mind telling me what the hell you're doing with Walter Brown's clearance codes? OK, sure. Uh, General, working in a video store has taught me one thing. Sure, these movies may have silly, corny titles like Snowmageddon or Collision Earth. Balls of War. Balls of War, Fire Volcano. But there is serious creative thought put behind these concepts. Every possible disaster has been put on film, including hundreds, hundreds of solutions that are completely outside the box. Well, no, actually, most of them involve nukes. But uh, Steve? It, it doesn't me, matter. Me, doesn't, me, sir? 
We aren't just video store clerks. We are researchers, and we have sifted through an entire genre of film to bring you the scenario to save the Earth. And frankly, sir, I don't think you have another option. I'm going to cut to the end of the chase, General. We need a nuclear warhead to create a planetary debris shield. The targeting has to be precise. A direct hit on a pit mine in Siberia. So you're saying to save the world, we have to blow up Russia? Not all of it. Just a very remote part. I like it. You do? Thank you, Joe. Okay. So we're gonna do this thing? Hell no. Lock him up. Yes, sir. We hand them a plan to save the world and they lock us in. Steve, what do heroes in this situation have to do? I don't know. Read minds. Heroes have to pee. Heroes have to go pee. Uh, I do not have to go pee. Steve, you have to pee. War games. Oh. Um, excuse me. Can you let me out? I have to pee. Okay, fine. Um, I'll just go on the floor over here. Uh, you know what? I no longer have to pee. Yeah, it must have uh, must have been the stress. Something caused a false positive. No pee. together. It could have been you and me against all this crap. Okay. You're gonna need my missile key. Okay. 
Get to the... Get to the silo. You're gonna need this. <laughs> what? What for? Manual launch. Part in the abyss? When the guy wants to blow everything. Hey, Steve. Yeah. Could you shut up while I'm handling a nuclear warhead? Sorry, I'm just nervous again. Oh my god. And if you asked me this morning what I was gonna be doing, <laughs> it definitely wasn't gonna be oh! Do that after watching the Manhattan Project? Yeah, didn't you? 
you. Wait, wait, wait. You're absolutely sure this isn't going to lead to a whole hellfire of rocket exhaust thing? There's only one way to find that. and only once, and it'll start the delay launch. Okay, twice? Instant launch. Goodbye, Stephen. How do you even know how to do this? The internet. Selena, we're just about to start the launch sequence. Can you hear me? Selena, we're just about to start... just about to start the launch sequence. Can you hear me? I hope to God this works. We'll all hope to Walter Brown. Start the late sequence in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now! Just like that, Staff of Movie Shack saved the world.
lights. You got those lights? <laughs> Honey. <laughs> we did it. And this guy, this guy was amazing. Well, good, good thinking on the Morse code. Oh, well, maybe an obsession with sci-fi. It's not so bad. Now that we saved the world, what do you guys want to do? Oh, uh, I don't know. I was thinking maybe we could repopulate the planet. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch a movie.